four hands on two. Uh, this is practicing writing to files. And you're going to be completing Try It Yourself 10.3 and 10.4. Um, our ultimate goal is 10.4. So uh, basically what you are going to do is prompt a user for their username and write it to a file. And you want this prompt to end up in a while loop. And after they've given you the name before uh, you write to file, uh, you're supposed to print a greeting. So to help you out, I did uh, give you an example. Uh, the only difference between the example and what you need to do is I did not write a greeting or print a greeting before the write statement. So basically, uh, what is your favorite cartoon? Cue to quit. Uh, you guys are going to be saying, what is your username? Uh, and then you're going to open the file. And I've opened it for appending, which will create the file if it does not exist, or it adds to the file. Uh, and then as long as this variable uh, doesn't equal Q, uh, I'm adding to the end and writing to the file. And between those two, that's where you're going to do your greeting. And then at the bottom, you know, you prompt them again. So that's the type of processing that you need to do here. Okay, and so that's uh, how you're gonna start the file. And then I want you to comment out that code and you can just put three double quotes at the beginning and three double quotes at the end to comment it out. And then below this, what I want you to do is check to see if the file you created exists. And if it does, you're gonna delete the file. Then you're gonna create a new file using write mode. You're gonna use a while loop that allows the guest to enter their names. And once they enter their names, you are going to print out their room numbers using random.randint. And the numbers that you are going to be randomly generating for rooms are between one and 50. You're gonna store the room numbers in a list and you're gonna check the list to make sure the room number you assigned isn't already used. If it is used, you're simply going to get them a different random room number. Uh, and then you're going to write the guest's name and their room number to the file. After you've entered all of the guests, then you're gonna print out a list of the guests and their room numbers. So to help you with this, I have a very similar example. So uh, because we have to check to see if the file exists, we have to import OS. Uh, because we are randomly going to generate rooms, we have to import random. Okay, and I have specified my file up here at the top. This example is similar to what you need to do. Uh, in this example, we have campers that are being assigned bunk beds. Okay, so uh, what it's doing to start with is it's seeing if the file exists and if it does, it's removing it. I'm uh, going to create a little bunk bed list uh, and that will store the beds that we assign. And then you can see I've got with open, I'm opening it for writing. And then I've asked them to input their name. And as long as their name isn't a cue for quit, I'm gonna stay in this little loop here. Um, I am randomly retrieving a bunk bed number. And then you can see I am checking my bunk list. Okay, so while this random number is a number that I've dis assigned already in my bunk list, I'm getting them a different one, okay? And so by the time we get out of this loop, I do indeed have a bunk bed number that hasn't been assigned before. 
So I'm printing out the camper's name, telling them they're going to be in uh, bunk bed number, showing them the number. And then I am taking that bed and appending it to my bunk list. Okay. And uh, then I am formatting my little string here, which at this point just has the camper's name. But this is what I'm going to want to write to file. So after the camper's name, I am adding a comma. I am adding the word bunk number and a space. Then I am converting the bunk bed number to a string. So I'm adding that in. So if it was 10, it's going to display as 10. And then I'm adding a new line to the end and writing it to file. Uh, and then I'm asking them to enter their name, cue to quit, and we do that for the next camper and so on until they decide they want to quit. So because we opened with using with open, it's automatically going to close the file. And we can come down here and it's going to open the file again. And we print out a little heading and then we go line by line through our file. And so what that will do then, here's our heading, that will print out the camper and the bunk. Okay, and once it's done with the for loop, it'll automatically close the file. That is the same processing that you need to do.